Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with another process um, for my scrapbook for Mykonos because I'm getting up to scratch with a few of my scrapbooks now, which is really exciting. Um, so I can move on to this one. So this was our trip to Mykonos. We went in September 2023. I think we went for five nights. Um, we flew out of Manchester, but back into Gatwick because it was cheaper. Um, and yeah, we just had a really, really good time. It, it probably wasn't our favourite Greek island. We love the Greek islands. Greece is our favourite place. Um, it wasn't our favourite one just because it wasn't very walkable. Uh, we didn't want to stay in the main uh, town, in Mykonos town, because all the hotels are very small. And if you wanted a pool, you'll be playing absolute fortune for a pool in, in Mykonos town um so we actually stayed a little bit further out but it required us having to have a car um so i don't know we just like to be able to sometimes just go out and have a wander to the beach or um you know to the shop and have a drink and stuff like that but it didn't feel like we could do that here um it was more of a mykonos town was like the hub and if unless you want to pay a fortune to stay in mykonos town um you had to stay outside of it um and it wasn't very walkable so it was absolutely fine. We loved it. We had the best time, but it wasn't, as I said, it's not one of our favourite, um, it wasn't one of our favourite Greek islands. Uh, we've only been to a few. We've only been to uh, Zante, to be fair, we spent two summers in Zante, so Zante's always our favourite. Um, then Corfu and Santorini, and we have done a day trip to Kefalonia. Santorini was lovely. I really enjoyed Santorini. Again, it wasn't overly walkable unless you stayed in the main areas, um, but I felt like there was a bit more to Santorini. Um, I felt like Mykonos was a little bit of like a playground for the, the rich, basically, because it was so expensive. Um, you know, we didn't, we did eat out, but we didn't um, go for drinks and stuff at certain bars because some of them were charging like 60 euros for a cocktail and stuff like that. And to be on the sunbeds um, for a day was 100 euros per sunbed and stuff like it was just ridiculous. So we just felt a little bit poor <laughs> um, and we just felt like we couldn't really do too much. So we, we didn't... Um, we didn't do as much as we would do on a normal Greek island holiday, um, but we had a lovely hotel and we had a really nice time just wandering around the streets and yeah, just enjoying the, you know, Greece as it is. Um, but yeah, so we did actually take loads of photos for even though we was only there for like four full days, I did actually take loads of photos. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this scrapbook because I want, I've always wanted to do a scrapbook around this sort of theme like this purple blue sort of I don't know whimsical I don't know just I don't know it just matches it nicely I think with uh, Mykonos. Mykonos is a bit sort of um I don't know spiritual I think people go for a lot of like retreats and um it's all very zen but it's also very expensive but it's um yeah I just really fancy doing something this sort of themed and I thought Mykonos was perfect. So I'm really looking forward um, to all the bits and pieces that I've got out for this um, scrapbook. So um, this is my big pocket of stuff. Um, and another thing I'm really excited about, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit sad really. Um, so we go to Japan in two and a half months, which I'm so excited for. And I know that I'm gonna be bringing back so much stuff. So um, I've wanted to use my big, um, pockets the ones with the black lines because these are the bigger ones the other ones I have are just they're like perfectly a4 whereas these ones are slightly bigger um, and I wanted three of these to take with me to Japan and um, I managed to get one from Canada and I've got one from um, Poland now and so I have this one now once I empty this I'll have it for Japan so I've got three of my bigger pouches um, to take with me to Japan so I'm very excited about that. But yeah, so this is all the bits and pieces that I got from Mykonos. Um, as I said, we didn't, it's a beach holiday as such. Um, so we didn't do like load of like entrance fees and ticket stubs and stuff like that. It, it wasn't that sort of place. But um, I got loads of little um, business cards um, from places that we went to eat. Um, like place we had ice cream. I got two of these little bags, which are really cute. It's just got the windmills on them. Um, obviously, I've got some receipts. We hired a car. Uh, we got given some maps from our um, hotel. Um, so we actually stayed. See, so this was our hotel. We stayed out here. So this is Mykonos Town. Um, so, yeah, that's where we sort of stayed. We were right by the airport and things like that. So, yeah, it was lovely. As I said, it was a really nice place. It's just, unless you stay here, this is the main hub. All the rest were just sort of beach places and... Um, 
you know is obviously the you know the busiest place so yeah it was different so then we've got some postcards um i picked up a load of postcards i got my postcard of the map which i always do when i go to a new place um, i like to get a map uh, for the start of my album got our boarding tickets boarding uh, flight tickets bits from like bakeries um as i said maps which is really fun um i wrote a postcard i sent a postcard home actually so that's in here somewhere um but yeah just lots of random little bits um yeah business cards from our hotel even from when we stayed at the radisson at the at manchester airport um so yeah really cool i love looking through these stuff because i love collecting this stuff and i love looking back at it so yeah so those were all the bits and pieces that i got so not loads of stuff compared to other holidays um but then these are our photos i haven't sorted these at all um so they're in all sort of order but there are lots of bits and pieces about you know um the towns we had we made so many friends with cats and stuff like that so that was nice so us by the pool um yeah lots of things by the the town and things like that so yeah i'm really excited to sort of scrapbook because these are really pretty um it was a beautiful place a really beautiful place i definitely recommend it um it's just expensive it's not your typical greek cheap holiday um so yeah we had a really cool accommodation like that was our shower um so yeah it was a really lovely place definitely recommend it but just start saving <laughs> especially if you want to go on the beaches and you know drink cocktails and stuff like that so yeah so those are our photos i think there's roughly about 200 there might be a little bit less um but it's it was surprised me how many photos i actually took we actually took a day trip well half a day trip out to um tinos as well which is another island um but that will be another album after this one it won't be it'll only be a smaller album um but i didn't want to include it because i love doing the islands separate because they are their own place as such so so as i said i'm going to be using purples blues pinks um for this scrapbook and i think it will match nicely with the whites and the blues of mykonos town and it's just really pretty so i have this one it's called mystery and i think it's from the works yeah it's from the works three pound um i've used a couple of pages but i just love the colors of it and i love the sort of i don't know relaxed sort of vibe to it and i think as i said it will look really nice with the um, photos. So yeah, I did actually do Santorini quite similar. Santorini was blue and pink. Um, so I wanted to do this one a bit more purple because I don't have that much purple stuff. And well, if I do, it's like this sort of style. So um, I do have two little six by sixes as well, just in case I want extra um, uh, paper because I'm actually using a A4 scrapbook for this one rather than a um, 12 by 12 because it was only five nights and I won't be using the same album for it for another trip um, I thought I could use an A4 and I haven't done an A4 since I did uh, Hong Kong I think and that was about four or five nights so it just made sense to um, to try it out which I do have it here so this is the scrapbook that I'm going to use so as I said, it's just A4 I think um, I got it from Amazon, but um, it's got 40 pages or 80 sides, so I feel like that's going to be enough. Um, but I always like, I quite like A4. As I said, for an album that I'm not going to use again, um, it's just going to be Mykonos. Um, I think it's quite a nice sort of size. It's not too big and it's not small either, so I will be using that. So I've probably got too much paper, but it's never too much. You can always put it back, so not a problem. So with... Um, all my embellishments I've got it in my little box here um, so the first thing is this massive box which is all my little sequins um, I'm going to use out of here I didn't want to empty them because they're going to go everywhere so I'll probably just use the box um, but I wanted to use these little stars um, just to embellish the pages a little bit um, they're really cute and I do have some larger stars in here I'll have to file them, file them. I'll have to um, you know sort them out so not to get the gold ones but there are slightly bigger stars there as well so i thought they would look quite nice um as embellishments so i'll be using those it's always quite satisfying to use up if i can use up all those 
then I can put some more sequins in there. So yeah, so that is that. Um, then I am going to use these washi tapes because as I said, going along with like the purple sort of theme. Um, so the first one, this is actually from Hobbycraft, I think. And it is like a little, um, what are they called? Scales, like fish scale sort of thing. Um, I have used one like this before. It came like a pack of three. I think I used the blue one. Um, but I thought this one looked quite nice because it's a bit shiny. And it has the same sort of colours as the paper pad on there. Um, and then the one I really knew I wanted to use is this one. It says, She Dreams of the Ocean. Um, and it's a lovely one. It's come from Paper Chase years ago. Um, and I just really like it. I just think it's nice. And I've wanted to use it for a long time. But um, I always thought Mykonos might be the one. <laughs> and it just, yeah, it just suits it. I just think it's really cute. And then just this plain purple Sil uh, silvery shiny one just to go with it and just to add a little bit of a darker color i do actually have two of these so if i do run out of this i have got another one because this one's only from craft sensation so it's it's not as thick as the other ones um so i do actually have two of those so i can use that one as well so those are the washi tapes that i want to use um, and i have got my two distress spray stains i don't think i'm going to use the more i look at this wilted violet i just feel like it might be a bit too bright I think I might go with the shaded lilac um just because even though it looks quite um sort of pale I feel like it might uh, stand out obviously on the pages and stuff but I just feel like with the stars and things I think it'll look really nice um to use that on the page as like splatters but yeah I feel like this one's just a bit too bright so I'll probably just use that one. And what is really exciting, I haven't used this because I got this free um, with scrapbook.com on one of my orders. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, but it's a Pops of Colour from scrapbook.com. Um, I don't think it's got a, um, a name. I'm not too sure. I don't know. But I got it for free. Um, oh, Glitter Disco. But it's got... Uh, pinks, purples and silvers in there so I feel like it's um, I'm going to have to probably open it but yeah I just feel like it's it's a nice one it can go along, I was just going to get a silver uh, glitter glue out but this one might look quite nice um, but yeah so that was free um, so sorry I'm still quite out of breath from this bug thing that I've had um, so I'm having to take deep breaths <laughs> but all these bits and pieces here are just all stickers. So I've still got my um, sequins, my um, little gems out. I want to use the purple ones. So I had these for Poland and I've used all the green ones now, so that's good. But now I want to use all these purple ones up and I think I'll be able to do that throughout the whole album. So I'm slowly trying to get rid of these. I could even use the blue ones if I really wanted to and then it would just leave me with the gold. Um, but yeah, so I really want to get those used up. I've had those for so long. Um, these alphas, so I will be probably using stamps. Um, I haven't decided which stamps I want to use yet, but it'll just be my normal alpha stamps um, for, you know, headers and stuff like that. But I do have these alphas that would be quite nice to use up. Um, the black ones, I just feel like they'll pop a little bit. Um, I do have a J, M and a K, which I believe is the um, airport code. So I can use those at least to try and use bits up. Um, and then I do have this, which I think I can spell Mykonos with just, um, I might have to use a U as an N, but I think I can spell with Mykonos at least with what I've got there. So yeah, I'm just trying to use up my alphas as much as I possibly can. As I said, it's really hard to use them when you've got no vowels left, but um, I'm trying, I'm really trying to get through them. So any excuse, I will use them. Um, and then I've got load of, um, sticker books because of that one little bits. So this is a, this is from Craft Sensei, no it's not, it's from The Works and it, Make and Create and it's this creative paper collection and obviously I've shown this in my um, haul at one point but it's got a load of papers in there. I don't know if I'm going to use that because it's just a little bit dark but I could use them to maybe mat some photos or something. Um, so it's got a load of papers. I haven't used any of this yet so it's a nice excuse to get to use these. But it does have like some um, little white and blue ones as well like these ones I could use to you know mat some photos or whatever 
even this one's quite cute so it's not too dark but there's loads of um, paper then they do actually have one with all these little um, alphas which I think is quite nice it'll take me a while to cut them out but um, you know it'd be used, nice to use them um, I could spell Mykonos Town or something like that on there then they have some random like coloring pages and I don't know how I'll use this yet but um, they're there and then they do have a little calendar so I can always use a September one um, or they do have these these are quite cute. It's just like favourite drinks, favourite animal, um, all them sort of stuff. So I might be able to use some of those. Um, birthdays, again, I can just use a September one if I wanted to. There's a lot of random stuff that I might not be able to use, but I'm just trying to, you know, make the most of it. Um, so I can't think what date we went, actually, but um, it might have been near Joe's birthday. No, his actual birthday. Joe's birthday is actually Christmas Day. Um, but... We celebrate it on the 25th of September, so I think we came back just before then. But if it was around then, I could obviously use the happy birthday one. And just some more paper. There's loads of, like, even more paper. So there's loads in this one. And it obviously just repeats itself. Um, then it comes to, like, the, the, the cut parts as such. So I don't know if I'm going to use these, but they're nice little journaling ones. So I could use the back. They're, like, almost like little postcards. Um, so I can use those for journaling. They are coming apart a little bit because they're not overly um what's the word sturdy but yeah there's loads of dark blue in here so um i might not be able to use loads of the blue but they've got nice um pinks and purples so i can use those and again can use these to this side these are cute i love this it says hello beautiful moments and stuff so and then you have some stickers so yeah we'll be able to use some of those and I love these little hearts down here so so yeah quite a few bits and pieces that I can put in there so that is that so I mean for four pounds you get so much stuff in there and it does match the theme on there so I'll be able to use some stickers from there then from my little recollections Europe sticker book, um, I kept this out because there is, um, there's not loads I can use from this, but there is a few, so I wouldn't mind using them up. I might even use this one because obviously that matches like the blue and white buildings of Greece, so I might be able to use that. And then there was a, yeah, I can use this. This is like a purpley colour, so I might use that um, to use that up. And then I think that was everything really. I don't think like we're going to Athens next year so I don't want to touch anything that I'm going to use at a later stage um if there's any like sort of purples I can definitely use but the rest of like sort of themed around other countries there's not really much for Greece in this one but yeah anyway so there's a few little stickers in there just to use them up it's by beats um and then this is from Neon Sheep I've had this for a while but this matches the colour you know coordination quite well um so i can use pretty much all those stickers the yellows is throwing me off a little bit but i might be able to use those but everything else is um perfect really I'll be able to use those. i've had those for quite a while then these two sticker books from neon sheep again i've had these for a long time i'm just trying to use up bits as i go um so there is quite a few little purple stickers that i'll be able to use um not loads but a few i'm just trying to pick things out even if i just use one sticker it's one sticker less than i have to use later on um so that's why i don't you know otherwise you never get through things otherwise um but yes yeah, so and like this i like that little celebrate today um i like these little white word stickers as well that i've used quite a bit of um might be able to use those um, and I like that. It says, you're fabulous. So little bits, as I said, I like to get out anything that I might use because you never know. One sticker at a time. And then this one from Craft Sensations, I used this because I wanted to use these because I thought this is really hard to use. I've not actually been able to use these yet. But I love that one. It says, today's perfect day to be happy. And I like that one as well. I can use a picture of me and Joe. Um, some of the other ones... Maybe I'll use the black ones just to add a bit of pop. 
Um, I like this one as well. So I might be able to use all of them. It'd be very satisfying if I can use all of those. Because I have found those quite difficult to use because they are purple. Um, and as I said, you don't really find many opportunities to use purple. So yeah, so that's the reason why I pulled that one out. Um, this one... Oh, I picked these out for the alphas, I think. Um, so... I don't know where they are now. These ones. So obviously they're purple sort of um star like sky like. <laughs> um so I thought I'd be able to use those for something. Even like even the dates or you know, I can definitely spell Mykonos or something like that out of there. So um I can use up some of those. And then this one, this one's a bit random. This is from IKEA. Um I thought about using this pink shell just because I thought it went with the I don't know, went with the the colour scheme and even the no it's just too green but yeah if I just use that little pink shell I don't know it you know it just uses it up because this is how I have to do it otherwise I would never get anything done but yeah so I thought I could use those then other stickers I've got these from um paper chase that I've had for a while I've used up a few but I thought I'd be able to use like even like the the blue ones the pinks um that's sort of love. I love that plane as well so I'll be able to use that um and then these are from Sticko so I've used all of these apart from the purple ones I think they had orange and blue or green um but I can use these ones because they match it perfectly with the sort of purple colors so you can use those up um, and then I've got these cat stickers. I love cat stickers. Um, and we had so many cats on holiday and we had loads around the accommodation and stuff. So um, I can use all of the colours because there was colours each. We had cats of all colours. So it was really good. Um, and I thought I could use these ones as much as I can because they're really cute. They're from Paper Chase. And um, so you use up a few, but it'd be nice to use up a lot more. Then I've got these huge geotags. I've used one already, but all those colours will go with the colour scheme, so I can use those. They came from Paper Chase as well. Um, then I've got these um, dream catcher stickers. I got these from Poundland a long time ago, so I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's like a pink version of those dream catchers that I've not used yet on that side. Um, and I've got the silver version. So I thought, again, going with the whole I don't know, whimsical sort of theme. I thought they would look quite nice on there and to be able to use those up. I've pulled a lot of stuff. I didn't realise how much stuff I actually pulled out. Whether I use all of it, I don't know, but it's um, it's quite exciting. I think I got a bit overexcited with it. Um, these are rub-ons. I don't even know those if they will still work, um, but they have some of the purple and blue theme that I thought would look quite nice. Um, as I said, I'm going to have to try and see if they still work because they are quite old. Um, so I'll see, but they have actually got some alphas as well on there and dates and stuff. So I'll be able to use those if they still work. I'd rather not chuck them out. I'd obviously rather use them and see if they still work before chucking them. But, um, yeah, a few pinks, silvers, purples. So should be able to use some of those. They came from Craft Sensations, I believe, quite a few years ago. Then these are quite new. Um, these are from the range and they're little purple flowers. I just thought they were quite nice to put as embellishments around photos. It's not a very green island at all. There's no sort of flowers <laughs> at all. Um, but I just think they're quite pretty um, to go with the whole theme. Um, then we've got some little silver gems just to go along with, you know, the silver bits. I've got stars and hearts and things like that. So I thought that looked quite nice. Then some sticky notes that I can obviously write a little bit on. Um, I haven't actually got anything to write on. Oh no, sorry, I have. I'm lying. I've got these. So these is what I'm going to journal on. Um, these purple sticky notes. These came from Flying, uh, Flying Tiger. Um, I just got loads of the purple. So I'll use these to write my journaling on. Um, I like them because they're lined. Um, I find it very difficult to write straight. Um, and then I do have these little... Um, sticky notes there's not much not many left of the purple ones I've used quite a few of those um, but I can use those again just to write little bits on um, just to label something or whatnot I've had those for a while 
And then I do have on this sticky note set, I do have a, quite a few of the purple ones left. So again, I can use those if I want just to label something quickly. Um, I can use those as well. Then some random little bits. I've got these little labels that come from my little label book. Um, again, just trying to get bits and pieces used up. Um, so these ones just says one of a kind, and I thought they were quite nice with the purple writing on them. And then these ones were just little tags. Um, so yeah, I thought they were quite nice with the, the pink zigzags. Um, and I can write obviously where we were going for that day or, you know, that sort of thing. So those are those. Then I do have this little stamp that says beautiful, which I thought was quite nice just to stamp around a little bit. Um, I got like a tub of them from um, Hobbycraft quite a few years ago and I've not really used too many of them, but um, I thought that'd be quite nice just to use some black ink and just to stamp that around um, the page a little bit. And then last but not least, I do have all these little hearts. So I always try to use a wood veneer in all my albums. Um, and I have these little white hearts because I thought they would stand out quite nicely. I was going to use wooden ones and paint them purple, but then I thought white would stand out quite nicely. So um, there's quite a few of them. So they should last me throughout the whole album, um, but it uses up all the white ones. I do have um, wooden ones and I do have red ones as well. So um, yeah, I'll be able to use those up. So yeah, I've pulled quite a lot of things. I'm hoping I can use up. <laughs> A lot of the stuff I found with the Poland album, I didn't pull as much stuff. And I, at the end of it, I was sort of thinking I'd not got many things left. So I think I got a little bit overexcited with this one and pulled out maybe too much stuff. But um, I am really looking forward to doing this. I think it will come out really nicely. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this um, slightly longer video of all my bits and pieces. And I can now crack on with Mykonos. So hope you enjoyed this one and I'll be back soon. Bye.